So we are with Lorenzo Sassi, chief designer of the power unit at Scuderia Ferrari, ahead of the Malaysian Grand Prix. Uh, common knowledge has it that uh, the Sepang track is one of the hardest challenges for uh, the power unit. But is that really the case? Yes, it's true. The severity of Malaysia is uh, mainly due to the ambient uh, temperature and humidity. So it's uh, probably one of the most critical uh, circuits for uh, water temperature for the, for the engines, oil temperature for the engines and oil. So it's true and we need to find the right compromise with the performance to guarantee the right and the proper temperature for the power unit. We'll be racing at uh, sea level but uh, with high degree normally of humidity in the air and of course uh, with very high temperatures you just touch that. Uh, compared to the previous generation of normally aspirated engines, do you think the uh, turbo uh, engine can uh, cope better with those kind of conditions? Uh, the turbo compressor is able to compensate the negative, let me say, ambient condition for the performance. So we can increase the uh, boost pressure to compensate the ambient temperature and humidity. For sure, in any case, uh, this is paid in terms of stress in some components. So uh, we can compensate the performance, but again, uh, we need to be careful to guarantee their proper reliability. The 2015 regulation uh, limit to uh, four the number of power units you can use throughout the season without uh, some uh, penalties on, on the starting grid. Would that mean that uh, some of the choices uh, the technicians made on some tracks like this uh, would be more on the kosher side? Uh, for sure, the, 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 the regulation with uh, only four power units per year uh, makes that we, we need to find the best compromise between performance and reliability. Uh, so for sure, in, in some circuit, uh, we can uh, try to um, have less performance and during the Friday, Friday practice, but uh, we work usually to guarantee the maximum performance for qualifying the race. And finally, uh, it has be now become uh, quite apparent that compared to last year, uh, Ferrari has made a uh, significant step forward in terms of power unit performance. Uh, so, do you think the podium finish in Melbourne would be a feasible uh, achievement uh, in this track also? We think that the performance uh, of the power unit, but also of the car, is at the moment uh, um, able to guarantee uh, to maintain the second position uh, for the first part of the season. So I think that also, I think and I hope that also in Malaysia we can uh, reach the podium. Uh, this, anyway, for us is a starting point because our target in the second part of the season, or as soon as possible, is to arrive in uh, as, as close as possible to Mercedes. So. I think that we can maintain the second position also for Malaysia, but we have to, to think to the future to, to arrive as soon as possible to be first.